there are two really good features inside the swivel cloud that I think can make a very powerful tool um, for when we're talking about teacher reflection and teacher growth. Uh, before we get started on this, I do have to say that I, I was a swivel vi video pioneer and I think I still am. Uh, and in the early stage swivel video pioneer program, they gave you a free swivel and that's how I really got started using the swivel. Uh, but it is one of those tools that if I was still in the classroom teaching, uh, I would have my own there with me because I think it's a very powerful tool for teacher reflection and also just for creating video in the classroom. And as a teacher who did a flipped style classroom, uh, having this be able to create video in my own classroom, create my own content, would have made things much, much simpler. Um, so the two features I want to talk about right now are the commenting feature and the bookmarking feature. And so the commenting feature, and you can see a video right now. And this is a video of me uh, when I was presenting at the one-to-one -one conference this last spring in Des Moines. Um, I, I almost always bring a swivel with me when I'm going to present a conference so I can record myself because I'm going to use that video to reflect on my own effectiveness as a presenter and find those ways that I still need to improve because there's always a way that I can improve. Um, but one of the nice features about this, and I'm in the Swivel Cloud right now, um, which is cloud.swivel.com and is a free aspect of using the Swivel. Um, even if you just use the Swivel app, this is a very powerful tool. Um, so my video is stored up on here. So I recorded the video on my iPad, it uploaded to the Swivel Cloud, and that's where I'm able to watch things. And if you're doing something like a multi-camera setup or a multiple microphone setup, you really need to upload that video to the Swivel Cloud to be able to get the full effectiveness of it. But the feature that I really like here is in the commenting feature here. So what I did is I actually watched this video and then I found those moments that I wanted to talk about with somebody else. I wanted to use somebody else to reflect with me. Now my role as a technology coach, which really is an instructional coach for technology, and I could use any of our other instructional coaches to help me reflect and grow from watching this video. Uh, so what I did here is I put a couple comments inside of this. Um, just watch the video. So I got to a point like, let's say right here, I went down here and I added a comment, comment, and I hit send. And the nice thing is, we'll turn that off real quick. You can see that it got time stamped. And so every time you put a little comment inside this little box, it's going to timestamp it. And as you click on the other timestamp comments, it's going to take you to that moment in the video. So you could watch, you could record this video, watch it afterwards, maybe writing some questions or comments that you have, share that video with somebody else and have them reflect on it with you. You could share it with an instructional coach who maybe wasn't able to observe you or anybody else and have them ask you questions about what they're seeing. And so one of the nice features of the Swivel Cloud is also in the sharing feature. They've really updated this recently and I really like that because you can do a direct share if they have a Swivel account. You can share it to a list or a group if that's created in the Swivel Cloud or you can just share a web link if you want to share with somebody else. But the nice feature I kind of like here and it keeps going away when I do that is there is an embed feature. And I tested this today on the new Google Sites with their update. Uh, and you can embed a Swivel video onto a Google Site and that was really nice because being able to embed that means I can share it with you know, students if I'm using it in the classroom or I can share it another way. It's just another way to be able to share that and I really like that. Um, so these time stamped comments are gonna be a great tool for you as you're reflecting by using that video. Now one thing, I'm gonna to go to Swivel's own blog on this point here, is they add a bookmarking feature. And so pretty much while you're using the Swivel, while you're recording, you're wearing the marker on, you know, around your neck, you can actually hit one of the buttons and it's going to leave a kind of little bookmark in the comments feature. So when you go back to look at that video later on, you'll see where those bookmarks are made. So while you're you know, in front of the classroom or working with some students, you can quickly hit that button if there's a moment you really wanna come back on and reflect on that moment, whether it's something that you thought was happening or something that wasn't happening. Um, so that bookmark feature is really cool. I need to test this out a little bit more in some classrooms, but it's very simple to do. You just tap that button. It's gonna put that comment in there. You'll see bookmark, kind of like how you see in the video here. Uh, and now make it easier for you to come back and find those moments. Because if you're recording, let's say a 25, 30 minute activity lesson, something like that, you may forget when those moments are. So be able to just tap that button real quick will make that easy. Uh, so the Swivel, I believe, is a very powerful tool. I love using it. And I'm very glad I get to use it with the teachers I work with. Uh, the commenting features, the timestamp commenting feature, I think can be very powerful where we're talking about reflecting on our own teaching and our own practices, especially if I'm using that video with somebody else like an instructional coach. Uh, the bookmark feature just kind of makes that a little easier. So if you have a swivel available to you, test it out, make sure you're using those features, try to use that video to help you reflect or just help you better become a better teacher. 
Um, and then, you know, if you don't have a swivel available to you, they do have a trial period. You can get one, test it out. Uh, the prices are a little bit, you know, they're about so what, six, $700 really, uh, but is definitely a tool that I'm glad that we have. And I'm glad that I get to use it with teachers.